Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Hermitcraft Season 6 server. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm doing fantastic. Today's episode 45 and I've got a great episode planned for you guys. Word on the street is your boy's been pranked by some activists and some 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 crybabies on the server. <laughs> nah, not going down like that. Not even close. Anyways, today I've got an awesome episode planned for you. Question of the day for today, with season six getting well into the season now, how do you guys feel about this season of Hermitcraft? Do you think it's the best we've ever had? Is there some pros, some cons, some things you like, you dislike? Let me know down in the comment section below. As always, if you guys enjoy this series and you want to see more, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Turn on notifications for when the videos come out. Let's get into it. All right, guys, there's been some whisperings of uh, some activists on the server saying that I have been killing golems for my own personal gain. And, uh, oh God, <laughs> this is, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, there's villagers up there. Why are there villagers up there? Okay, what, what do we got here? So we got a cow and a, or a spider. Ooh, wither skeleton. Is it, does he have a sign? What's his sign? It doesn't have a sign, okay. <laughs> This is funny, dude. A drowned. Oh my god. So these are all the people protesting the shop. <laughs> That's funny. We got no golems being killed. Uh, and unethical golem farming now. Boycott Jevin. Free the villagers from captivity. Boycott Jevin. Stop burning our golem guardians. Boycott Jevin. Uh, seize the use of the or seize the use of uh, confusing false villager doors. Boycott I Jevin. And then he's got some villagers and everything. Does it go all the way around? Wow, that's funny. Oh, this is good, guys. I like this. But this does mean war. So I this was done by Tango and Azumavoid, and apparently they have issue with me farming golems for my own personal gain. Yeah, that's not going to stop. I'm not scared of them, and I'm keeping all of their heads, even the wither. That's right. It's mine. Done deal. Done deal. So we're going to open the doors right back up like nothing ever happened. Because we're not scared of them, guys. We're not scared of them at all. Matter of fact, let's check and see if we... Oh, look at them leaving trash in my stuff in here. Wow. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. So this uh, this means war, by the way. This is, this is not going to go unanswered. <sighs> all right. So last episode is the beginning of the episode. I'm going to clean this up after... I'm finished with this clip. Uh, I asked you guys to leave an amount of diamonds in the chat because we were going to pick another winner to name the Elytra. And uh, not only did I find even more diamonds, but um, we are doing very good on the monies this season, guys. Look at all this junk. Sheesh. 45, 45 diamonds there. And then we have 53 more diamond ore in there. So... I, I do have a question for you guys. Are you getting sick of me asking you for diamond amounts in the chat? I will stop doing that if that's bothering you. Um, I know it kind of gets a little bit repetitive, um, but if you guys are OK with it, we will do it again. So in the comment section below for these 53 diamond ore that I have in the ender chest right here, um, we will name. Let's name the sword next time and we'll see what happens. So let's go ahead and mine through this really quickly and see how many diamonds we get. I think Tango and Azumavoid are just jealous, honestly. I really do think they're jealous. Who else? I mean, why else would they do it, right? I'm making mad profits over here. Mad profits, bro. Mad profits. Tango's little Elytra shop can't handle the mad profits, bro. <laughs> it's so funny. All right, guys. So we got 64 and 34. So what's that's like? Um... 98 diamonds total so uh i'm gonna find the comment in the comment section below and we are going to name it uh after the elytra so i'm gonna clean up the guardian farm and i will we're not guardian farm but i will clean up the iron shop get it restocked with all of this iron and then we'll come back and name our tool 
All right, guys. So the winner of the giveaway uh, for the Elytra name is Sandro Messick. Congratulations, Sandro. He guessed or she guessed 98 diamonds and commented pretty early on. So that's awesome. I hope you enjoy your name being on my Elytra. And um, I've cleaned up the shop. I uh, got a little bit more iron in my inventory. We're actually going to go shopping while I talk for just a minute. So guys, I just I want to give you guys a huge, huge thank you. Uh, the month of August on my YouTube channel has been the best it's ever been. And when I say that, I, I actually like really mean it. So, for example, I've got some statistics. So we're going to go do a little bit of shopping. We're going to go to Coral. We're going to go to the Redstone shop. Um, so some statistics on the channel, right? Uh, for the minutes watched on the channel for the month of August, 22,500,000. That's more than we've ever had. Um, two diamond, one diamond per 32. Wow. Oh, yeah, I'll definitely take all of one of each of these. Uh, so we had 22 million watched minutes, um, 2.3 million views. Uh, that's the single most amount of views we've ever had. We had 70,600 likes. That's crazy. Um, we had 33,000, pretty much 34,000 comments. Um, so the... Oh, the month of August was just was outrageously good. And, you know, I, I sincerely want to thank you guys because that's like that's insane, man. Like I have never seen like numbers like that before on this channel. And, you know, like reading the comments and like everybody's like, Jevin, your channel's amazing. And it's like, holy crap, it's it's honestly overwhelming. And I just want to say thank you. And for the those of you who are like new and those of you who are returning and things like that, I just want to let you know that I'm going to continue to absolutely work my butt off for you. We've made 45 videos in a row. Basically, we've only missed. We pretty much in 46 days, we've made 45 videos uh, on Hermitcraft alone. And uh, that there was one day where. Ooh. There was <laughs> sorry, I didn't want to blow up Scar's shop. There was one day where we missed a video, and that was because of something that happened in Minecraft that was a glitch, dude. This shop is a death trap. Scar, buddy, you gotta fix it, man. Is he gonna jump down? There we go. So, you know, like typically here and there you have a day off. I'm not taking any days off. You guys give me so much motivation. It's insane. And I just I really, really want to do good for you guys. So I just like I said, thank you from the bottom of my heart, because it, it truly means a lot to me. So um, let's see. I want to buy some more pistons, two stacks. OK, <laughs> so we'll do two of those. And then I don't need any of those. What I came over here for was because of this. Scar said that these were restacked. So two diamonds per. Take 64 of those. Those are not stackable past 32. Oh, one of them is a repeater and one of them is a comparator. I think somebody may have put them in the wrong spot. Uh, hold on. So does that mean? Oh, yeah, somebody got these all mixed up. Hold on. Let me fix that. There we go. So I I got everything I need. Yeah, OK, we're good there. Um, three diamonds for a stack. Let's buy two of these. So six diamonds. There we go. But man, yeah, just uh, the motivation right now is like through the roof. And I just want to continue to keep making the absolute best content I can for you guys. So once again, just uh, finally, thank you. There's one last shop we have to hit. Then we can go back over to the base. And that's this guy right over here. Um, so I always end up doing redstone projects and I always need to craft like slime balls. Uh, as I say, it's probably out. How much? Uh, one diamond per stack. OK, so let's do three stacks. There we go. Cool. So I'm going to get this all crafted. Now, the reason why I purchased all of the coral was because we're going to be going over to Aquatown and going to try to redo those trees today. <laughs> the thing did not turn out very well, so I'll be back in a minute, guys. All right, guys, we are over at the ravine base. Um, so the game plan here is to make foral, foral, <laughs> coral, formations out of this now 
One thing that I was really, really into was using the grass. I'm not sure if I actually want to use grass anymore. I think I might change this over to sand. So before we do that, though, let's see if we can actually make some decent formations out of this. We're going to make a few different colors here. So I was looking at formations on the on just like Google for how the coral looks in Minecraft. It's very, very sporadic. So they have like, you know, a block there, a block there, and it probably, you know, comes up a few pieces and then cuts out and up and uh, just, you know, forward over. So something like random, but let's go back through and kind of trim this up a little bit, right? So we don't want like this one. Grab those. Um, so grab that one. And then let's get rid of this one. So like very, very random formations. Almost get rid of that one too. You know what? That actually does not look that bad. Let's get rid of this one too. So random coral formations and then I stopped at our base and grabbed some of the fans that we have. So I've got bubble, fire, and tube, and I may need to buy some more of these. Um, and I probably, honestly, I probably should have all the colors and then like a blue one. So the question is, is do we use sand or do we use grass? Honestly, I think sand might be a little bit better. Poor Doc, he died in the end earlier and lost all of his gear. All right, so let's go ahead and try this again. So let's go up, a, like, let's have a long sort of tube with one coming out there, one coming out there. And then we'll do diagonal and a diagonal on the top. All right, let's trim this one up. So let's get rid of this one again. We want to make it look uh, almost... Like, still touching, but, like, only using corner touches. So, for example, like this right here. Uh, I actually want to keep this one and get rid of this one. Okay. And then let's get rid of this guy. Looking pretty good. Oh, come here. Oh, I don't want to lose you. I paid good diamonds for you. Okay. How does that look? That I like that, actually. So that means that uh, this is kind of turning out better than I expected, to be honest with you. <laughs> it wasn't it, it wasn't something in my head that I thought was going to turn out very well. Um, let's try one more in yellow, because if this works, then I'm probably going to do a time lapse down here in just a minute. So let's come out this. Let's make this one. Those are both vertical. Let's make this one kind of come out and only poke out a little bit. Right. So diagonal. Something like that, right? So then let's get rid of this one, this one, this one. Mm, let's get rid of this one. And this one. So that one's not bad. It needs some on the bottom, though. Is there? Oh, it's not touching. So it needs to be touching. Something like that right there, maybe. There we go. I like that a lot, actually. Okay, so I think we've got a... Ooh, that color combination. I like that. Okay, so these corals are definitely turning out better than I expected. Um, so the game plan, I think... Here's the question, right? Do we use sand or do we use grass? I think we should probably use sand. Let's... Um, I think Doc is having problems joining the server. Let's grab a little bit of sand from right here. Now, I've got tons of sand if I need it, so I'm not worried about that. Let's just get enough to test really quickly. There we go. So how much should I get? 19? Okay, so let's do that. So we'll put it, we'll put it over here, because I think sand's going to come off as a brighter color. That was one thing that I liked about the grass, but sand is easier to blend with as well, so... There isn't a lot of green texture in Minecraft. I mean, there is, but there isn't. So. How do I like that compared to the other one? Huh. Interesting. So 
just an idea. What I don't think the red sand would match very well. So the question is, which one do we use? Do we use sand or do we use grass? I don't know, guys. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it up to you. Um, in the comment section below, tell me what you think would look better. I personally think sand's going to look better. But if you like the grass down here, let me know. Uh, we'll leave it for next episode. But and also, you know, leave your opinion on these corals as well, because I think they look good. But um, and we could do this kind of all throughout this area. And the corals, can they stick on the walls? Oh, my God, that's going to be amazing looking. So this and this entire ravine is going to look very good, I think. Let's go to move on, guys. All right, guys. So I have been wanting to make a new shop on the server for quite a while now. Uh, I just not thought about it and had the time really to set it all up. But now I have the time, right? So there is a lot of different stores on the server, but there is not one in particular that we don't have. And I thought that it would be a fun little side project that we could take on. Um, so we are going to be making a sweets shop, like a pastry or like dessert shop. What are we going to be making? Well, we're going to be making a few different things. First and foremost, let's get all of our ingredients out here. So we need a few buckets of milk really quickly. Grab that, grab that. And let's see, we've got our cocoa bean, we've got our wheat, we need our sugar. There we go. So the first thing that we are going to be making is pumpkin pie. And so we'll make cookies for the shop. We're going to make cake. Oh, we need three buckets. I didn't know that. There we go. So we're going to be making cakes. So cake. And then we're going to be doing cookies, which I've already talked about. We'll be doing pumpkin pie. And then the final one that we're going to be selling, although these are apples, we are going to be selling candied apples. And those are just pretty much the same thing as the regular apples. But, uh, to do this shop, we have to get a little bit of prep in. So some of the things that we're going to need are cocoa beans. So cocoa beans and wheat for this one. We'll need wheat for that one. We've already got uh, sugar. So really, the main ingredients that we need are apples. We've already got pumpkins and sugar for that one. Uh, there's just a few things that we need to farm here to make what we need. And let's just go over the ingredients, say one more time here. There we go. I think we're good to go. Let's grab all that. Just I want to make sure that I have everything I need. So you pumpkin pie. OK, so we we know that we can stockpile milk. So let's go ahead and get started. Do I have any bone meal? I feel like I should have bone meal. I feel like there should be quite a bit of bone meal here, too. I guess not, huh? Oh, that sucks. I was really hoping I had bone meal. Lucky. I got one bone, guys. All right, so let's come over here. So I have already made uh, a big flattened out area over here so we can do a little bit of farming. So let's go ahead, put some trees in here. So we're going to have like a uh, Karen cooked. Ah, yeah. OK. Enjoy your food, duck. You deserve it, man. All right, so little simple farm here for some cocoa beans. Grow these guys. There we go. Oh, that's that wasn't those aren't full. I thought those were full. OK, so now that we've got that finished, we need uh, all of our wheat and all of our seeds and we'll grab some buckets. Um, we need to we need a ton. We're going to need a lot of wheat, right? So grab all that, grab all that, grab all that. Let's quickly get a few buckets of water. There's a turtle, turtle, turtle. I think people are really going to like our sweet shop. There we go. So we got a whole bucket of set up for water. So we need to pick a spot to put our weed farm. This is just going to be a manual weed farm. Nothing super fantastic about it. Um, where do I want to put you? Hmm. I guess we could steal probably half of this farm. I think that'll work. All right. So, um, Let's go from like right here. So one, two, three, four water. And then grab another bucket. Let me get the buckets on my bar here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bucket. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight buckets. No bucket one, two. So 
I was thinking about how I wanted to do this, and I think we're going to space the saplings out three at a time. Because we want each tree to be able to decay itself. So three, so one, two, three, one, two, three. And then let's get a grid going here. One, two, three. And so hopefully we will get uh, a ton of apples from this. I don't see us needing a ton of stock to get started. Mainly just, uh, you know, maybe a double chest. That's a, that's although that is quite a lot of apples, to be honest with you. But OK, so once we have enough stock, because I don't see it, you know, selling out. I mean, people might stop there just because it's something new, but um, this isn't a, this isn't a money making scheme, people. <laughs> there we go. So let's get the rest of these saplings down. So we just want to keep it pretty simple. Let's grab a chest. And that right there, grab a hopper. There we go. And then all four sides. Cool. So one, two, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I'm out of glass. Is there any more glass over there? I could steal this glass. Soap touch come to Jevin. There we go. Go up a little bit here. There we go. Okay, so then I'll just fill that up with these eggs and hope that we get at least 18,000 chicken in there. We don't want to hit entity cramming because we don't want our chickens to die, obviously. So let's go ahead. Not a single chicken. Are you serious? There's one. Three. Okay, we're making progress. There we go. Okay, cool. So I think we are all pretty much set up and ready to go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish up the wheat down there. But otherwise, I hope you guys all have a great day. This is iJevin. Peace out.